Okay, <clears throat> what I was going to say, but then I just lost it for a second there, and now I remembered, so I'm going to say it now, before I forget again. Um, me and my mom, today, we went to, why am I holding a marker? We went to lunch at On the Border in Kennesaw, and we were talking to this lady, our server, her name was Danielle, and she was totally awesome, like, totally. Uh, anyway, so... They were like, they had this thing there called Guacamole Live, and I was like, what is that? So, we didn't get it, but we, we, I don't know, we didn't get it. But the people next to us did. And they bring out the avocados and everything to your table, and they make the guacamole right there. Like, right there at the table. How cool is that? They had, they peel the avocado, so you know it's fresh and uh, put it all in this huge bowl and they put onions and tomatoes and um, salt and pepper and I think cilantro I don't know it was people next to us so but yeah it was awesome cool stuff and I was like you know I want to go to more restaurants like that where they make stuff in front of you like obviously there's the Japanese steakhouses and all that but um, there's something about, like, fresh food being made in front of you. It's just a cool experience. I want to experience more of that. Just something that I thought about and uh, was wondering, wanted to ask you guys. What's the coolest place you've been to? And that's, that wasn't the coolest place I've been to, but I thought it was pretty cool. But what's the coolest place you've been to where, uh, whoa, where somebody cooked in front of you or the way they prepared it was really interesting? Um, obviously we have cool stories with Japanese steakhouses, if you've ever been to a place like that. Um, but you can still share, it's cool. Just share your stuff, share. I'm sharing right now. Yeah. I shouldn't be sharing when I look like this. But I am. You know why? Because I don't care. That's what it is. I just don't care. I cannot wait to get these off, dude. I still have a while to go, though. Ugh, it sucks. But I keep telling myself it's going to be cool because in the end, it's going to be worth it. And then, you know, I'm going to be like, all day, <laughs> just smiling at people. I already do that. I already do that now. Uh, I didn't used to back in school, back in like high school, I was like, Psh. That's what I was like. If I smiled in a picture, it was and that's just kind of creepy looking, uh, if you think about it. Look. That's creepy. Why do I have to stick my head? This is better. This is better, I think. I always do this thing with my neck. I, like... <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I have a big forehead. Look at this shit. It's like a five head. Oh, it's like that long. Oh, that's not right. Okay. That is like from my eye to my lips. Kind of. I don't... I'm weird. I'm weird. Why do I do things? Like... Well, uh, I'm stupid. My brain is my brain. I think I should be done with this video now. My brain is frame. My brain is frame. What I was gonna say is my brain is fried. Like school is driving me crazy. So.
so crazy. And KSU is talking about like switching over to A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus. These kind of grades. Um, and also they're talking about doing like Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes and no more Tuesdays and Thursdays. What? For real? I don't know. It's just a rumor, but I hear it's supposed to be starting uh, next fall. So any of you KSU students, look out for that. Uh, I'm gonna go finish cleaning because this is my clean. This is what I do when I clean. I put my hair up in like a bun, and then I put a, a headband on, and no hair in the face. No hair in the face. Of course, I look like a man because you can't see any of my hair except for a few danglies. Around there, but other than that, I think I kind of look like a guy. Yeah, I'm a badass dude. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some Pandora radio, and hopefully it's good. Usually is. <laughs> it's Pandora. I mean, you know. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great, awesome day. And um, Thanksgiving breaks next week. Holy sh stuff, that's cool. Uh, what? A Tell me what you're doing for Thanksgiving. I'm interested to know. Any, any good recipes you guys want to share? I'd be glad to know them also. Because I have to cook this Thanksgiving, which I'm totally cool with. Because I'm, you know... 22 now. I need to learn to cook more stuff. Let's see, what did I make last year? Last year, no, the year before last. I cooked with my grandma. That was amazing. I don't know about you guys, but cooking on Thanksgiving with your grandma is one of those things that you don't forget. Like, I remember all the stuff that we cooked. I'm not going to list it right now. But I remember everything. I don't remember how we did it really. Because my mom, my, not my mom, but my, well, my mom too. But my grandma, she doesn't measure stuff. She just pinch of this, pinch of this, and puts her love into it. And it just, it tastes so much better. Just because my grandma made it. <laughs> it was amazing. And then last year, I think I made green bean casserole, which my family had never had before. I tried it somewhere else, and I was like, hey, this is good. I like it. I like green beans. Uh, so I made it for them, and my brothers wouldn't even try it, because they're little jerks. My brothers wouldn't try it. My mom did, and she was like, oh, it's pretty good. And she was very anti-green bean casserole beforehand, and I think my dad might have tried it, but he wasn't too happy about trying it, and then he did, and he was like, oh, it's okay. I keep saying that I'm about to go, and then I start off on this tangent again. Uh, now I'm talking about Thanksgiving. Who else loves turkey? Like, I love turkey so much. I'm pretty sure I could live on just turkey for the rest of my life. Probably wouldn't be good for me at all, but I could do it. I could live on turkey. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> okay, I'm really going this time. Bye, guys.